Wait, don't tell me. I'll say it. Oh, You're self-confident. That much is obvious. But do you believe in anything outside of yourself? Bigger than yourself? I'd like to think so. But the world doesn't make believing very easy. Agreed. But we have to hope that all this suffering isn't for nothing. It'd be way fucked up if this was all for nothing. I see you're conflicted about this. But not despairing. That's something. I just don't want to see life as a constant struggle for nothing, I guess. I see. Thank you for sharing this with me. Oh, here. I have to go, but... I have to tell you something first. What's that? But I know I don't always have the right words. But I do enjoy our talks. I'm glad. I do too. See you again. Soon, I hope. Forgive the renegades for that. would have something to do.
bonkers. I heard. Apparently, she slept with Tyler, the guy who hands out shoes. That's right. Oh, at least dumb so Kate says. What am I, an errand boy? Could you stop the I complaining? Saps my will to act. Ader looks like a pilot around me. What did that do? You've done it again, Aiden. As I expected you would. <laughs> what have you brought? H.G. Wells was a master of science fiction, in part because he knew his science. It wasn't humanity that prevailed over the Martians, but germs. <laughs> germs, man! Can you believe it? <laughs> so simple, it's so small. Would that our plight were suddenly resolved in that way. Kipling's The Jungle Book has an underlying theme of abandonment, followed by themes of adoption and nurturing. Oh, how so many today feel abandonment. Hopefully, nurturing souls remain. What am I saying? Of course they do. You are one such soul. It's beautiful, Aiden. This collection, it's... I know, I know you think me a fool, but I am moved. Thank you for this gift. This gift to me. This gift to the world. There you are, dear Aiden. I've missed you. Likewise, Thalia. Albert seems pleased with today's haul. H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, huh? You know, every day I wonder, are we at war? Well, who, us? Wait, did I see something wrong? Oh, Aiden, that was so cute. Oh no, we're good. I was referring to the world around us. Is that in a state of war? Oh, right. The world. Oh, we're at war, all right, believe me. And not just one. A lot. Everyone seems to be at each other's throats for one reason or another. Sounds like you're talking about the infected. Some days, it's hard to tell who's more dangerous. The infected, the regular people. How distressing, Aiden. But quite an insight. Here's what you need. Till next time? Yeah, till next time, Thalia.
goddamn renegades attacking the canteen now? Are we really gonna win this war? Rowley, haven't eaten a thing to... Didn't you listen to the briefing? Tell me, I'll say it. She called Jen a stupid slut for what she did with Jacob. That's right, at least so Kate says. Me, I believe her. Ah, I am continually astounded by your tenacity and success. Let's see today's catch. Ah, uh, Lewis Carroll truly captured the surreal feeling of disorientation of falling into a strange world in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I often feel like I've fallen into another world, but sadly, this one is no Wonderland. Given the nature of H.P. Lovecraft's horrific creations, I suppose we should count ourselves lucky. What would we do if an old god suddenly awoke? Lovecraft excelled at creating a sense of dread which made his stories all the more horrifying. I can relate to a persistent feeling of dread. Definitely. Thanks to you, this collection is already unparalleled in the city. Sadly, our sources are getting dry, and I have nothing new for you right now. But I am confident we will manage to dig up at least some more from the city. Just you watch. Wait for my call, Aiden. <laughs> 